Hi and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins. We're hunting through, looking for some chimera tints, ones with more than face value, but ideally new ones for the book. Any of the four Commonwealth games would make for great finds, and we've still got lots of other ones that hopefully we will start to tick off. London Undergrounds, maybe. 2016 Britannia, Great Five London. So, um, some, of, well, they're all, I would say these are all uncommon coins left. Uh, but some more common than others. So let's get into these bags and see what we find today. Okay then, into bag number one. So that is technologies, the definitive, the standard non commemorative design used on two pound coins up till 2015. Some of them have lower minted years than others, just not low enough that I think that they are worth keeping. Our first coin, our first commemorative coin even, is a, a fairly exciting one. Golden guinea, smidge over face value. Not enormously so, but there we go. And that's all we're getting from bag number one. A good start though. A positive start. We've got plenty of bags still to get through, so who knows what treasures we might turn up along the way. Oh, that's very nice. Olympic Centenary. Any of the three Olympic £2 coins are stunning coins to find Ooh, with uh, relatively low minted figures as well. So that is a very good start. Well, there we go. Well, we might as well call it here. It's not, it's not going to get better than that, is it? Well, who knows? We started with the Golden Guinea, then Olympic Centenary. This bag will have a Commonwealth Games if we're following that trajectory. Ah, <laughs> uh, sadly not. Case of the diddlies with that bag, but um, no, um, we are rapidly approaching uh, my next trip to the Royal Mint experience. If you want to come along and join me for that, we're getting the Team GB Strike Your Own 50p. It is coming to an end at the end of this month. Or early next month, I can't remember exactly when. So I know the next one, the RNLI 50p, will be the strike your own from early September. Oh, we've got the go, um, Kai Forks there, gunpowder plot, very very common coin. But anyway, so I'm going to be there on the 25th, uh, the sun on the Sunday. Uh, at, my tour is at one o'clock, so I'll probably try and get there a bit before that, and then I'll hang around there afterwards for some time as well. So if you want to come along and say hi and get the strike your own yourself. It's a great chance to come down and say, uh, say hi, and uh, not just me, I know Grossi's coming as well. So it will be a great fun time getting my next strike here, and I think this could be... Um, the RNLI one might be the penultimate one for the year. Oh, we've got um, the Abolition of the Slave Trade there, another fairly common coin. But yes, I don't know. I can't imagine it changing to the RNLI than changing to anything but the last strike you're in for the year. Although I do have a bit of a track record of calling it wrong when it comes to guessing what they're doing with strike your owns. There's the Rugby World Cup. We'll check for the rotation error. That one doesn't have it, unfortunately. Um, we will, of course, check for some of the errors during the hunt. So, like on this the one, the Army Centenary, rotation error, edge inscription error. No, nope. that's all fine and dandy. I will, of course, at the end of the video, check through all of the coins, see if there are any edge inscriptions, rotation errors, double die errors on any of the other coins. It's just because that would take far too long to get through a whole bag and still have a bit of a jibber jabber as we're getting towards the end of the bag. That uh, I will do as much easier to do that at the end. Right, should we do an edge hunt? See if we can rustle up something by this uh, so we can do this with two pounds because they all have a unique edge inscription if it says standing on the shoulders of giants we know that'll be a definitive technology so i think all of these are let's just double check though yep case of the diddlies with that bag let's try once more okay we have got standing oh united united will be the active union of which we check for the rotation error. No, nope, Queen is facing the right way when we turn it around. Any more for any more? Giants, shoulders, standing, shoulders, standing, the shoulders, the shoulders, shoulders. Oh, bottom one, the crown, be the hollow crown, Shakespeare's histories. The more common of the three Shakespeare's, but still a welcome find. We do like our Shakespeare coins. And let's just double check. Nope, hadn't missed anything there. Well, we've got a few things. We certainly got a few things. So yeah, everyone is um, sort of trying to guess what's the what's the Christmas strike your own going to be? Should there be nothing between? Oh, there we go. Commonwealth Games, uh, 
Come with games. What am I on about? Comedies. I got the right. I got the first couple of letters right. Shakespeare's comedies. I wish it was a Commonwealth Games. That'd be amazing. Um, yeah. So we're trying to guess what the Christmas strike you're in is going to be. Um, the favourites at the moment will be the Snowman because it's been the Christmas strike you're in a few times in the past um, and very Christmassy theme. But then it could also be uh, the Gruffalo's Child, which is another 50p due out before the end of the year. Right, Britannia. Britannia became the definitive design on 50... Um, not 50 pieces, well, it did in <laughs> decimal coins. Um, on £2 coins, it became the definitive design in 2015. So let's check what year this is. Oh, well, it is 2015 as well, so it's a low-minted year. Ironically, I think that's the one we already have in the book. We need the more common 2016 Britannia for the book. But yeah, I don't think, although we found some nice coins already... I don't think there's anything new for the book so far, but we've still got plenty of bags off to the side to see if we can rustle up some more goodies. But no, if I was had, if I had to guess, Snowman or Gruffalo, it's a close call. It is a close call. Although I think I would give a slight favouring to the Gruffalo 50p, being the, being the Christmas strike your own. Um, it's just a little bit different, isn't it? We've had a snowman a few years. I love the snowman 50p. I hope that we get many more years of the snowman 50p. It's almost become Christmas tradition getting the snowman 50p. Um, but yeah, I think I think what I think to myself is those Christmas tours at the end of the year, that last uh, the sort of the end of November, December. Those tours, who are they aimed at? Oh, another Apple um, Active Union. I don't know my coins today, do I? I'm terrible. Um, so if you've been on one of the Christmas themed tours, you get to meet Santa, um, and uh, so I would not recommend one of those Christmas tours as your first trip to the Royal Mint because it's not so much about coins for coin collectors, it's all about Santa and Santa's little grotto at the Royal Mint uh, for kids to go to. It's still a lot of fun, it's nice to see the place decked up in Christmas decorations and whatnot, and everyone has a good time, but those tours are designed for the enjoyment of, of uh, the little people. And I think, who what are they going to want the most? Oh, there we go, Shakespeare Tragedies. That completes our Shakespeare set. Check the description though. Uh, one piece of work is a man. We didn't actually check it on the comedies, did we? That's pretty sure. All the world's a stage, so no. No edge inscription errors on our Shakespeare coins. So yeah, um, I, I might be overthinking it. It might not even be a case that the, this is even entering the minds of the people running the Royal Mint experience. They might just think, oh, whatever the next coin will be this. Because, um, oh, there we go. Abolition of the slave trade. Um, sometimes it does seem a little bit random what is the strike your own. So we, we, are, we are going into the RNLI being the next strike your own. There we go. Army Centenary, no rotation error. Oh, King and Country. So that's edge description is fine as well. Um, so yeah, it made sense the Team GB 50p being the strike your own over the Olympic period. Totally makes sense. But then we're going to the RNLI, which is the coin that was released in the annual sets at the start of year. And it had its own individual release earlier this year. But for some reason, now it's become the latest strike your own. It's a uh, it seems like a very odd choice. Sometimes these decisions make sense. Make pens, I should say. <laughs> they don't make sense at the rule. Well, they won't be making sense anymore at the rule by the end of the year when they stop doing world coins. Um, so yeah, sometimes there is, there's obvious logic to why this coin is becoming the strike your own. And other, others, it's a bit like, ooh, a bit of an odd choice. I mean, are, is it going to be RNLI as a very small, a very short stopgap before something else, before bumping onto the Christmas one? Who knows? I wish we had a bit of an advanced schedule to know, not maybe not what every coin in the year is, but what they're expecting, what periods of time, so that it's easier to plan trips down to go get them, because I don't want to miss one. Right, DNA Double Helix there. It's the first one today, but it is a very common coin. And that brings us on to the last bag of the hunt. Well, as usual, you'll find links in the description to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. There are also links to my other social media channels the PO box address if you want to write into me and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel the company I work for as my day job so please do check them out as well I'm just going to whiz through all the coins off to the side and see if there are any key um, not key dates any errors that I've missed throughout the hunt 
Okay then, having gone through all of those coins, we have got one exciting error. It's a 2010 technology, let's get as close as we can. And as you can see, we've got a double die obverse. So it looks like there's doublings of the letter around this side of the coin more prominently. And then the IRB, Ian Rank Broadley's initials on the Queen's portrait. So they, uh, sorry, this is um, a rather exciting error coin. We didn't find them all the time, but it's been a while since we did. In terms of our star finds, it's got to be that or the Olympic. 2015 Britannia is up there as well. So we've had quite a few lovely coins but let me know in the comments what you'd pick as a star find it's a hard pick for me between the nice error or the olympic centenary i do like that Olymp i have a big, big olympic bias when it comes to coins so <laughs> you'll have to let me know what you would pick all it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye <laughs>